Siberian shaman forced into psychiatric ward for challenging Putin in Russia. In 2009, in 2019, local shaman uh, Alexander Gabashev became famous for marching almost 3,000 kilometers from his hometown in Yakutsk towards Moscow. He intended to use his shamanic powers to purge Vladimir Putin from power. The 52-year-old, who belongs to the Yakut Turkic ethnic minority group, is known for practicing shamanism. A third of the way along his journey to Moscow, police officers nabbed Gabashev and charged him with making, quote, public calls for extremism. When Gabashev announced in January of 2021 that he would continue to exercise, as in an exorcism, exorcise Putin out of Moscow, the police broke into his home and arrested him. Putin had much more to worry about this time. Gabashev planned to head out on horseback with his followers and reporters behind him. On September 23rd, the uh, Yakutsk City Council rejected Gabashev's appeal of the previous ruling that indefinitely confined him to a psychiatric facility for a mandatory, quote unquote, intensive treatment. The court concluded that Gabashev lacks legal capacity due to insanity, despite the protest of his defense attorneys. Wait, so, so the last part is that what? That he is going to be... So like he... There was, they have ruled that they, that they are going to indefinitely confine him to a psychiatric yeah, exactly. facility. And then he tried to appeal it. They rejected it as appeal, meaning that that ruling is final and stable. Okay, but he's being, but he's not going to be treated like a criminal because he has psychological issues, right? Like he's going to be treated like a patient rather than a criminal? I haven't, act, theoretically, yes. Um, in the news reports that I was reading, I didn't see anything that actually talked about a legit history of psychiatric problems. So most of the time in the articles I was reading about this, they were saying how Gabashev has um, in many ways become, especially for the local um, people uh, from his ethnic minority, and has become a symbol of resistance towards Putin. And mm -hmm. so that they are using the method, well tried and tested during the Soviet period, of relegating people to a psychiatric ward to delegitimize them, to dismiss them, and basically just warehouse them. But Keep them in the but dark. this person does seem to have psychological issues, no? Um, not from what I've read. There wasn't any independent oh. reports of him having psychological issues. I mean, he has. I mean, he like, wants to use shamanic powers to purge Putin from power. Isn't that okay? Maybe was... to us because we're okay, not theists. But this is okay. apparently, um, shamanism was very common in many of these regions, especially out in the Far East. And yeah. um, then after the fall of the Soviet Union, obviously it wasn't allowed under the Soviet Union with like secular Marxism. But then after the fall of the Soviet Union, um, Russian Orthodox Christianity has really kind of taken over most of um, the belief systems in Russia, but there has been a recent resurgence of people returning to their indigenous, um, very idi idiosyncratic um, own shamanic practices, um, which can kind of blend together and come in many different forms. And this is something that he practiced. Um, yeah, it's, it's, an, it's an indigenous religious practice. So of course, mm. we think that's wacky because we don't believe in any of that stuff well, in general. But just because he's had practicing a shamanic practice, I don't think that ne is necessitates that he's insane. Okay, but if, if he's deemed insane, wouldn't that protect him? Because I'm afraid, like, if he wasn't considered insane, then they would be charged with, like, trying to topple, uh, like, for, you know, as a... As a treason or something like wouldn't he be charged with something more serious like maybe it's good that they consider him to be insane um potentially um because of 
And this isn't the first time that they have um, relegated him to involuntary psychiatric treatment. This has happened before. Um, and now his condition. lawyers have filed gonna... a complaint with the European hmm. Court of Human Rights. And what? Um, after what he went through in 2020. And um, his case has been taken up by Amnesty International. Amnesty International says, quote, Alexander Gabashev has become a symbol of grassroots resistance to the increasingly repressive government of Vladimir Putin. So it is not surprising that the authorities went to such extreme lengths to silence him and smear his name, uh, uh, the group yeah. said in a statement. Once again, the authorities are using psychiatric care as a punishment, a method tried and tested during Soviet times. Okay, wait, you can do that in Russia? You, as a lawyer, you could go and submit your case to European Court of Human Rights as a Russian lawyer? You can do that? I mean, that's amazing. I, I would think, like, if you do that, I would assume that if you do that as a Russian lawyer, that would be the end of your career or something. Because, like, that's, like, the end. I don't know. Is that is that not, like, complaining to the enemy? <laughs> okay, all right. Um, I, do we know what the conditions of the psychiatric ward is like like is he be gonna is he being mistreated like i hope he's okay. i have no idea i can't imagine um, it's particularly nice at all yeah i would yeah, never but is it want like, to be in a russian prison or psychiatric ward i i know that Sus, but i'm just wondering <laughs> if you're like i i know like ideally you would like to be in your living room rather than a psychiatric ward I'm just wondering if they are like torturing him like with shock therapy or shit, stuff like that. I have no like, idea. You know? Yeah, okay, okay. Um, what was that thing with the horses again? He was trying to get like an army of people on horses back. So that, can, he had previously that be a movie? what he had previously done in 2019 was like basically like an on foot pilgrimage, which right. is this is very common across religious practices, like a shaman, a seeker going on a pilgrimage to go undertake a spiritual quest for his people you know so that was basically what he was doing he was going to go on foot from his little town in right. siberia to moscow and he got a third of the way there um before they arrested him um partly because he would be giving speeches to like hundreds of people um like he did have a following um but then in when he announced that he was going to be going on another quest, so to speak, but this time on horseback. He was tired. He was tired. It was like, this is too much walking. Maybe he thought he could get farther on horse. I don't know. Yeah. But that's going to uh, be expensive. That's when they were like, where, where are you going to get all the horses? That's expensive. But I don't know him. why. Oh, I thought he, him and his followers are going to. I don't know. For some reason, when you read that, I had this vision of an army of shaman, shaman people like with like some people with wands on a horseback like attacking the kremlin all with wands in their hand and deep like throwing spells at the kremlin that would be well <laughs> like, when they you know arrested how, no, no, him wait. you know how the harry potter scene when they're like attacking hogwarts and there's a wall around it and like i just imagine that kremlin being like kind of like hard hogwarts and the all these like witches and wizards with their wands out on horsebacks are just attacking it that should be a movie that should be a movie but go on when they arrested him uh, the authorities claimed that he ripped the officer uh he ripped the uniform of an officer and lightly injured one of them with a ceremonial sword damn okay, when they that's... were coming for him he was like i have my ceremonial yakut sword oh no it's called the batas and um yeah he was this charged for movie. making calls for extremism why is this not a movie they should be they should this exaggerate should the story yeah amazing okay Shaman when, and when it said that he was going to go on his second quest with a horse i have no idea if the people with him would also be on horses that wasn't detailed <clears throat> but it sounded like should, he would be. this should be an alternative history where these people win and the official religion of Russia becomes this shaman thing and they have like yeah this should be alternate yeah somebody do that I want to see that I would pay for that um okay thank you for all of that detail Susanna that was very good 
Okay. Like Can we? Tattoo on his head. He. What? Wait. Do you want to see a video of him on yes. on his on his trek? Of course. Okay, I just found this. Gonna... Okay. Um. Okay. What? I just found this video, so I'm not sure what we're gonna see here. But let's get into this. Okay. You're gonna get banned, aren't we? Oh, this is not as epic as I imagined. My my imagination had some wild things. Oh no no no! Wait 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 wait! Stop! Oh shoot! Here, I'll I'll just cut the audio. Be careful with music. No music. Yeah, Keep sorry going. about that. Um. Oh man, why has it got a buffer right now? Okay, so there basically it shows him walking with this little cart that he constructed with there's like all his stuff on there that's like his tent he's wearing a che guevara shirt <laughs> um <laughs> he's got like his tarps a backpack uh it looks like some poles it says that he will fight witchcraft with richcraft oh yeah because he called putin a demon um oh and then it's some anti-demon discrimination this world and week alone he walks around 20 kilometers a day and it looks like there's some people who are like helping him out um but yeah so part of his thing was that he was talking saying that um putin is literally a demon and so given that he is a demon he will use his shamanic powers to expel the demon it says okay. other stopper stop to talk to him or offer him money or food Oh, this is so sweet. And they're like, best of luck. Oh my God. That's kind of cute. Um, it is kind of cute, but it's not at all what I imagined. Okay. Because yeah. I've been I have been led to believe when, when shamans attack the capital, it mm -hmm. looks more like this. So I mean, look at that. That's like that looks like I mean, I know this guy is a nut job, and I'm glad he's arrested and all. But visually, I think American shaman attacks on the Capitol just looks a lot more epic. And look at that, right? So, I mean, Russia, I thought like things are more epic in Russia, but like I think no, the American I think that guy's cooler. I would rather hang out with, I would rather really? hang out with this guy, meaning uh, <laughs> the Alexander. Russian guy? Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, it's funny. The people who are talking to him are like, even if he has a political agenda, like his his walk itself from this like tiny town to Moscow, like he's like that itself deserves attention. <laughs> right. He didn't he didn't get all the way there, um, but he was getting a lot of coverage for this. Am I the only one who thought about this whole American shaman attack on the Capitol? Because these are two shaman attacks on the Capitol, like. How are they not being compared to each other? Like, am I the first person that just thought, like, obviously this is shaman attacking capital. Like, we have Amer an American version of this. Mm. Right? I, I have know. to admit, I'm extremely... I'm, I'm finding his Cuba shirt, like, pretty amusing. <laughs> are, are you not triggered? You're, like, you know, by it? Like, is this not, like, a... Because you're ex for people who don't know, Susanna is ex Antifa. So I thought you would find it like annoying. So, no, that's why I find I it amusing. That's exactly why I find it amusing. <laughs> hmm. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.